Hi everybody, welcome to another career tutorial. I'm Crapman, and uh, what we're going to do this time through is we're going to make just a simple pipe, a little simple section of pipe. And it isn't so much to show you how to make a pipe, but um, to kind of help um, make the spline modeler just a little bit more efficient for you. Um, let's go ahead and start out by drawing an oval and bringing it into our spline modeler. Push Shift Command C. And it'll, and it'll uh, center your oval. And let's push Command J and click Snap to. And you can take care of this in your preferences, uh, so you won't have to do that every time. But we'll have more in our preferences here in just a second. Now, uh, let's go and draw this guy up. There we go. And we have a simple oval and just a, a simple um, extrusion path. Let's uh, go ahead and go to our um, sections and let's create an end section. And you notice that um, every time that you have to do anything to your um, to your model uh, you have to go up here and uh, kinda mess with this stuff. Um, we're gonna we're gonna bypass that here in a little bit. Let's go ahead and add some points in here. Let's add a point here, 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 and here. And when you're making your pipe, you can you can create multiple sections and then resize them, or you can do this. What we're getting ready to do here. There we go. Um, let's make. Uh, Let's make our extrusion method pipeline, and let's make our envelope. Let's make our envelope uh, symmetrical, and then those little points right there became control handles for controlling, uh, manipula manipulating our uh, envelope. Pow. And you have a simple pipe section. Now something that you you might want to make note of is uh, you can't move your control points right here along this this uh, along your extrusion path uh, you have to go to the extrusion path, path proper and do that right there okay now we have a simple section of pipe nothing really major nothing really you know special um, now if I wanted to manipulate different areas of the pipe, um, if I go to next, the very next um, face that I deal with is the very end face and I want to deal with these other ones in the middle. So um, what we want to do is create another face here. Or, yeah, I guess it's a face. Um, and to do it through through your drop down menu over and over again is kind of a hassle. So um, what we want to do is go into our preferences, and we're going to create some uh, we're going to create some keyboard shortcuts by going into keyboard shortcuts, and uh, we're in our spline modeler uh, sections, and one of the commands that you use a lot in the spline modeler is create section. Now what I'm going to, uh, you can use pretty much whatever you want that isn't being used. Um, but since I got uh, create section, I'm going to go shift command M to make a section. Get it? And we'll, we'll assign it. And uh, another, uh, another um, command that I use a lot is uh, next command shift U assign make sure you push assign before you go to the next one and command shift D and we'll assign that one too and now command shift D goes up or goes down command shift U goes to the next one oh yeah let's go up down and command shift M will create another face another face there, another face there, and it, and it goes a lot quicker than going through your drop-down menu. Now, uh, 
this isn't a perfect pipe it isn't supposed to be a perfect pipe it's pretty much a way to uh, show you that um, Carrera is pretty customizable uh, when you go into when you are messing with your preferences uh, you just the only or making your own keyboard shortcuts the uh, you just gotta be aware that some of this stuff is already assigned and it's also a good way to you know kinda learn that that there are keyboard shortcuts but uh, yeah keep on uh, keep on exploring Carrera has a lot of places for you to go and uh, you can have fun doing it so anyway that's it for this time I'm Kreitman and I'll talk to you again later